got out of church and it was really, really good today. Of course it was, he was speaking. It's always really good when he speaks. And he looked really good doing it, so I mean. Win-win for everyone. Anyways, um, so now we're down at, it's called Worship in the Park. And they held a church service down here. And now they're doing like an all day festival type thing. Um, but it's right down here on the bayfront. So there's like a really awesome view of the bay. See what they have here. They have Wiener Takes All, K Abides. What does that mean? It's the Cluck Truck. I don't know, there's so many options. I don't know which one we should do. Oh, there's another one. And there's Brewster's over there, too. Here's what we're having. We are almost there. Door rib for Mark, please. How's it going? Good. Um, we're just going to do one number one and then one number two. Short rib and a carnitas? Mm -hmm. Anything else for you? Uh, nope. Do you want to get a water? Yeah, can we have one water bottle? Yeah, absolutely. Sure I have a name for you. Yes, Brandy? Please. Brandy? Brandy, yeah. Okay, this is the most intense church thing ever because um, they are officially playing Pokemon Go here. Which means... Yep. <laughs> and we got our food finally. So we just drove and reached the beach. We're heading down here for a water baptism in the lake. So, see if we can find anyone we know. You are good and I dance because you are good and I shout because you are good. You are good forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the The best husband ever. It's okay, I dunked those. It's okay. Thank you. Hey guys, um, we had an awesome day today. We had, uh, well, Doug did a great job preaching today, and then we went out to the festival for the Sunday in the park, and it was just really fun to do something different. Um, it was also really cool to see all the people get baptized. So in honor of the baptism, we're gonna do a verse of the day from the book of Proverbs. It's chapter three, verses five and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Um, that's encouraging to me knowing that I can put all my trust in God and he has everything figured out. I don't have to go in some rickety way, climbing up mountains, going through all these obstacles. So I just give God everything and he makes my path straight walk on a nice newly paved road. Amen. <laughs> Alright guys, so just make sure you click subscribe and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you join the family.